Hello and welcome to the channel. The recent success of text to image synthesis has taken the world by storm and captured the general public's imagination. From a technical standpoint, it also marked a drastic change in the favored architecture to design generative image models. GANs used to be the de facto choice with techniques like style GAN, but with Delhi E2, autoregressive and diffusion models have become the new standard for large scale generative models overnight. This rapid shift raises a fundamental question. Can we scale up GANs to benefit from large data sites like Lion? We find that natively increasing the capacity of style GAN architecture quickly becomes unstable. That is where Giga GAN sprouted up. And then on the back of Giga GAN project, we had this amazing model called as Aura SR. I covered the first version of this model more than a month ago and if you're interested you can check out that video and i was totally impressed in simple word this model simply increases the resolution of an image and now they have released the second version of this model as i said aura sr is based on the adobe's gigagan paper using lucy trains implementation as a starting point the GigaGAN upscaler was designed specifically for generated images and lacked de degradation pre-processing during training. So the first version of Aura SR was unable to upscale JPG compressed images without artifacts. Now this version addresses that plus also increases the quality of it. And in this video, we are going to install it locally and then we will upscale few of the images locally as well as from online from URLs. Also another thing which this uh, model addresses which was the limitation in the version 1 was that the version 1 tended to add too much detail and then they figured it out that this issue was mismatched between training and test data. So that is where they have increased their training with 256 pixel tiles of 1024 pixel images and this brings the training much closer to how the model is used during entrance also they have made one final improvement to address seams during entrance seams occur because the inference uses non-overlapping tiles for some images the seams are not noticeable but for many it is a big big problem and that is where they have upgraded their inference library aura which we will also install and you will see it and that is where they have included a new inference method which we will use which is called as upscale 4x overlap which performs inference twice with overlapping tiles and averages the result to improve seams and you will see the results aura sr version 2 uses the same architecture as v1 so it should be a drop in replacement so if you have followed my previous video and you have installed it and you want to use this one simply replace the model repo and name and you should be good to go nothing needs to be changed and by the way they are already working on version 3 and where we will have more higher resolution more face images as well as, as well as a brand new architecture so let's see what happens then but for this video let's get it installed and then see how this thing works before i show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. Let me take you to my terminal. This is my terminal where I am running Ubuntu 22.02 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me create a Conda environment to install everything. I'm just calling it Aura SR with Python version 3.11. Let's wait for it to get installed and activated, it, which it has now. Let's install some of the prerequisites, which install um, Torch, Torch Vision, and you can see that towards the end, Aura SR. So you would need that. And I will drop the link to its repo in video description, so you don't have to worry about the code you can just simply copy paste it from there let's wait for everything to get installed it will take around two to three minutes 
all the prerequisites are done now let's install our jupyter notebook so that we could play around with the model after downloading it and it is going to launch it in the browser so the notebook is launched let's import the libraries that download the model and we you can see that i'm just specifying aura srv2 let me run it and it is going to download it locally and then it is loading now on my gpu shouldn't take too long model is loaded and now let's define this function which downloads an image from url it's a simple python function and then now let's download an image and then we'll see how it looks like i'm just going to put that code here so i'm just downloading this image from this url and then I am using that function which I mentioned earlier, which is newly added in the second version, upscale for X overlapped, and then we will be printing out the upscaled image. Let me show you the before image. So this is the before image, which is slightly hazy. And even for this image, it is going to upscale it. So let me run it and see how it increases the resolution. Let's run it and let's wait for the, oh, there you go. And look at the resolution it has really oh my goodness look at without breaking the image i'm just scrolled down very slowly so look at the quality and the resolution it has increased here especially look at these eyes upscaled one and look at the other one how good is that okay now let's try to do some local images for the local images which i'm going to do i already have uploaded few of the images on my local system i'm loading the image i'll first show you the before image so this is a before image which is just my youtube thumbnail and now let's upscale this image and see how the resolution gets increased this is a upscaled one let's wait for it it is going to print the resultant takes bit of a time sometimes to process it and there you go it has come back and this looks if you just look at my um, picture and then if you look at the upscaled one there is it is quite vivid quite vivid so is the text in the picture okay let's try out another one in this example i'm just giving it a blurry image so let's run it so this is a blurry image. Now let's try to increase its resolution. For example, we want to see what exactly is this. There is a car, but something is there in the door, or maybe a person. So let's see what that is. And I'm just going to upscale that image with RSR. And then let's see what sort of uh, upscaling it does. There you go. So if I go scroll down, you see it has increased the resolution and we can tell that it is some uh, women who is sitting in the car so and then it has increased the resolution of other stuff too as you can see here so amazing model again i think aura srv2 is also good and to be fair i think even the v1 was quite quite amazing so would be really good to see what version 3 comes up with especially around the new architecture i will drop the link to this model in uh, video's description play around with it let me know your thoughts if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.